Hello, my creepy lovelies, and welcome to chapters 4, 5, and 6 of Time of Death. Now, this was requested by Salma KB, but somebody, a subscriber by the name of exo.bunnies, asked for a shout out, for a shout out for me. So, exo.bunnies, this is for you. I hope that you're watching. All right, let's begin. Or let's continue, actually. Amy, it was only one night. It was always only one night. That's all they ever say. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, Krista, come on. What were you doing with my fiance at that hotel? Well, obviously they were playing some Monopoly. What do you think they were doing? <laughs> it was a year ago. You were away on one of your business trips. I was coming out of rehab. Joe and I got dinner downtown. He never told me. You might be his fiance, but you don't know who Joe really is. And you do? Yeah, so yeah, you do. I know him better than you know. I don't feel like saying that. A part of him? Yes. He did a lot of things from his past. Things he could only confide in me. Why did he tell you? Because I understand what it's like to have secrets. His name wasn't always Joseph. And before he met you, he lived a different life. Doing what? The kind of things you change your name to escape. The people he worked for, like the mob. They were dangerous, Krista. That was probably the guys that he was chasing down. But they were also his family. Oh. He told me he was adopted. He moved across the country to escape them. Changed everything about himself. That's when he met you. This can't be true. I believe you. I'm just straight up, I believe you. I don't know why I found that funny. You don't know what it's like living in your shadow. The perfect sister. The perfect fiance. So perfect you don't notice the people under you. What did you do that night, Amy? I'm so sorry. We had a few too many drinks. Something was eating away at him. We stopped by the hotel so he could check on his lockbox. I never saw what was inside. And then... We went upstairs. I think I'm going to be sick. Go ahead and say it. Mm -hmm. I slept with your fiance. After everything I've done for you, actually, I slept with your fiance. <laughs> I know. I hate myself for what I did. New test message from Bay City Bank. Hello, Krista Daniels. We have detected an, uh, an unusually high withdrawal from your account. No, you guys are robbing her. It's bad enough you're trying to kill her, but now you're robbing her too. <laughs> your balance is now zero. Oof. To stop this transaction, please call customer service. She can't. I don't. I didn't authorize any withdrawal. To stop this transaction, please call customer service. No, I hate you guys. <laughs> My calls aren't working. Please stop this transaction. To stop this transaction, please call customer service. Ugh. Message to, to Amy. Oh, what about, oh, never mind. I, that was, that was stupid. I was going to say, okay, what if she gets Amy to three-way her in if her calls aren't working? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Amy? Krista? Where are you? It's been almost an hour. Really? I got off the bus downtown. Downtown? What are you doing downtown? I think you know why. Don't do it. Don't go to the hotel. Someone clearly wants me to learn some truth. It has to be in that lockbox. Maybe you can help me find out who wants to kill me. That is a bad idea. You don't know what you're walking into. Listen. Joe just cleared out our bank accounts. Joe did? Crap. He is always worried they'd find him one day. I have to find him. Chris, wait, think about it. Joe would have never chased his past if you didn't show him that video. You think this is my fault? No. I'm saying maybe by chasing this video, everything you're doing is bringing you closer to that moment. Hmm. You're right, I should think this through. I don't care, I have to go in. I uh, should think it through. 
Chris? Are you there? They're watching me. Who? The people on the street. I don't understand. I can see five, six people staring at me, filming me with cameras. That's creepy. Just like the ones outside my window. Like they're waiting for me to do something. Listen, I found something online about the video. I think it explains everything. It's Joe! I see him! Where? Up ahead, through the crowd. He's walking into the hotel. Play chapter 5 to unravel your murder. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> You guys know I'm horrible with choices. All I'm gonna do is get her killed, or get Joe killed, or get Amy killed, or or my phone's gonna blow up. <laughs> oh, I hate decisions. Are you sure it's Joe? Definitely. But he... Amy, he's covered in blood. Oh, Are you serious? His shirt and hands. Oh, maybe it's not his blood. <laughs> it's like he's been in a fight. Oh my god. Does he look really hurt? No, I mean, there's no bruises on him. Like, he's the one who gave the beating. This is getting really insane. He's about to go in. I'm going after him. I'm going to call out to him. I don't think I should call out to him. They'll just bring attention, so I'm going to go after him. And that's how Krista ended up dying. <laughs> Oh goodness, I'm gonna get her killed. Wait. You need to know something. Before you go any further. I looked online and found some info on the video. Are you sure it's legit? I think so. It's a little sketch, but it's something. More like an urban legend, really. About people across the world. Who received videos of their deaths. What happened to them? One of them shot herself. Oh. One drowned in a bathtub. Another was hit by a car crossing a road. I don't understand. They saw the videos and still died? Not exactly. They tried to avoid their deaths. Some locked themselves in their houses. Others moved to different countries. But eventually they all died. Exactly like how they did in their videos. This is impossible. Did anyone survive? Seriously. I'm still looking for more info, but there's something else. Those people around you, they call themselves the Watchers. They believe it's all true. That means they think I'm about to die. Please, just come over. We can figure this out together. I'm so sorry I hurt you. I don't want you to die. But it's not just about me anymore. Joe's in trouble. Joe can handle himself. What the, how do you know? There's only one way to get to the bottom of this. I need to open that lockbox. Don't do this. You know what happens if you enter that hotel. Not if I can help it. Well, she said people who tried to avoid their death died anyway. So maybe you're supposed to face it head on. I'm going in. New test message from block number. Krista Ashley Daniels. The hour of the beast approaches. Why do you have to keep saying her full name? <laughs> choose your path wisely. Why me? Why did you choose me? We didn't. We don't know who makes the video. We only know a time. Your time of death is in one hour and 45 minutes. New text message to Amy. Amy? I'm at the lockbox. In the back of the hotel. Did you see Joe? I looked, but... There's no sign of him. I'm entering the combination now. No. Opening the... 
What is it? What's inside? Oh, goodness, what? It's worse than I thought. What, a human head? What is it? New text message from Joe. Krista. Joe? Honey, how are you? Or where are you? Sorry. <laughs> what is going on? You opened the box. Didn't you? Uh... Yes. Good. Take the gun out of the box. And go to room 507. I need your help. Read chapter 6 to discover Joe's secret. That he's the killer? I don't know. I don't feel like doing this no more, but might as well. I'm sick of getting people killed in these stupid things. Joe says, please. My life depends on it. Just take the gun, Krista. What do you want me to do with it? Why do you have a gun? Mm, yeah, why do you have a gun? To protect myself. In case my past ever caught up with me. Well, why would you keep it so far away from me? Usually people keep their guns, like, somewhere where they can get to them quickly. <laughs> Did Amy tell you about us? Yes, she told me everything. How could you? Was everything about us a lie? Not everything. I love you. Always will. You'll excuse me if I don't believe you. I'm so sorry, Krista. It was a moment of weakness. I wanted to tell you a thousand times. But you didn't. I should just leave right now. If that's what you want. But if you ever cared about me, please just do this one thing. And you'll never have to speak to me again. What exactly do you want? Take the elevator to the fifth floor. Make sure you're alone. Then go to room 507. I'll tell you what to do next when you reach the room. What's inside? I'll tell you when you're upstairs. You must have seen Amy. Amy? Amy, are you there? Yeah, I'm in a cab. On my way to the hotel. What? No, you need to stay out of- or stay away from this. No way. I'm not letting you do this alone. What's going on? Did you open the lockbox? There was a gun. Joe wants me to take it to some hotel room. You talked to him? How is he? No idea. He texted me, but... If he's this other person... He's lied to me since day one. Why should I help him? He hid the worst parts from you. But he does love you. The morning after our night in the hotel, he was so torn apart. He wanted to confess, but I talked him out of it. Why? I was being selfish. Whatever he's into, he doesn't deserve to die. Maybe. But I need to find out what's in that hotel room. Besides Joe. <laughs> Maybe you can ask the hotel clerk. Good idea. Hold on. Ten minutes later. <laughs> this is impossible. What happened? I talked to the hotel clerk and asked her who the room was registered to. She looked at me so strangely. Why? She wouldn't tell you? That's the crazy part. She told me it was me. I kind of figured. <laughs> what? I don't understand. What do you mean it was you? When I asked her who the name, who the room was under, she said it was registered to my name. Okay, clearly someone just reserved it under your name. That's what I thought, but... The clerk said she remembered me walking into the hotel before and reserving the room. How was that possible? I don't know. She said she remembered speaking with me, but I've never... But I've never been here my entire life. This is so weird. She remembers me checking in every Tuesday night. Krista, there's no way she could be telling the truth, right? No. Every Tuesday? Goodness. She has to be in on it. Whatever. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's all leading to that room. 
What do you... Oh, goodness. What are, are you going to do? I don't know. Krista. Please. You have to help me. Are you inside that room? I'll explain everything when you come up. I don't want to come up. Will you help me? Why? Stop leaving the decisions up to me. Ugh. I'm not going to help you. Okay, I'm coming upstairs. Oh. Well, that probably killed me or killed him. Please. I'm sorry. I can't trust you. I just got Joe killed in there. I just got Joe killed. Then you have to leave town. Now. Before they find you. What do you mean? Before who finds me? Play chapter 7 to decide your fate. Stay tuned for new chapters every week. Wait, huh? Oh, this is, okay, well, I kind of get it. Okay, guys, so I will post up chapters 7, 8, and 9 on Thursday. So tune in on Thursday to see the conclusion.